James Starling here for the DJAM YouTube channel after another match day experience. Make sure you check out the highlights down in the description before me and Stuart here spoil the result. Uh, Stuart, we've I can't not talk about those incidents. I don't normally do it in my interviews, but they the two incidents in that second half proved absolutely massive to the game itself. Let's first of all talk about the penalty incident. From what I could see, it was outside the area. What what did you kind of make of that one, uh, first of all? I thought it was... a. Uh being diplomatic as possible. I, th I thought it was, it, it, it was a challenge that our guy probably shouldn't have had to make. And if it had, if it had probably stood up, he probably would have been favourite for the ball. But he committed himself. Um, however, it still doesn't make the you know the decision that was clearly outside the box. Yeah. Right. I mean, I've spoke to several people, and yeah. my dad stands outside, and he said that's at least two foot outside the box, three foot, and mm. several players have, and you can generally tell by the players' reaction. Yeah. Um, but there you go. That's, um, if we hadn't made the challenge, then perhaps, well, we took, the, we took that decision out. And ultimately, uh, the referee looked to his linesman for, for um, support. And, uh, well, we know where that went later on in the game as well. So, yeah. And uh, that, the second goal then, let's talk about that. Again, I mean, I haven't got the incident, I don't think. But it was as he was charging down the ball. Arms are up. How yeah, I mean, decision? What 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 has the linesman actually said about it? Because I've heard a couple of people saying that he even admitted that it was a handball, but yet the play goes on. Yeah, I mean the, the linesman. Possible. The linesman said that he had half a second in his opinion mm. to adjust himself, right. um, which uh, well, um, the thing is that if it hits him in the face then he's got no momentum, the ball goes out of play or, or ricochets somewhere else. Mm. He puts his hands up, it obviously deadens the ball there and then yeah. and falls kindly to him and fair play to him, he's took advantage. But, you know, at the end of the... When, they're, when the opposition are as surprised as, as yeah. anybody and then the guy at the end of the game comes up and apologises to me to say, sorry for that. Yeah. I said, look, it's not your fault. <laughs> you know, you played to the whistle and you did and, you, you know, you took full advantage of it. But... For us, when we've created the best chances, we've been on top. I'm not saying that we should have definitely won, you know, deserved to win the game, but yeah. I think on chances created, we did. Yeah. Um, and the keepers made a brilliant save in the second half of them. Um, yeah. And we've missed a couple of really good chances in the first half. That does yeah. sort of sting a little bit, really. Um, it's only sort of tempered a little bit by losing to Kenny and Shane, who are good friends outside of football as well. So, yeah, but, yeah, it's disappointing. It's yeah. disappointing. We've been, on the, we've been on the end of some poor decisions recently and mm. there's another couple here today that hasn't helped but yeah. you know without them we don't have a game do we so that's you know that's that's I mean, going back to the first half uh, you mentioned about the opportunities you had obviously one of those uh, opportunity hit the bar yeah you're going in a half time with three or four guilt edge chances I mean what are you kind of saying to the boys to kind of get them going again because you had the wind in the second half you, you played superbly well I thought yeah I mean, we just said to them, look, you know, you've played against the wind, you've created the better chances, you've missed a free header, you've missed a shot when, we, you know, the keepers sort of almost guess where it's going and he's hit over the bar, like say we've hit the bar, you know, mm. just said keep going, keep doing the same, just squeeze them a little bit higher, yeah. get closer to their right back, who was a good outlet for them, in the, especially in the first half causes some, yeah. some, some problems, um, just do more of the same, but yeah. don't just use the wind advantage and start over hitting you know just try and keep playing the football try and hit the, the you know seeks his feet the 10 and if if he's sucking the t um, two set halves in then get clip over the top and get runners beyond and uh, I thought we did quite well second half you know we played some good stuff we, you know we were the ones looking to win the game Henley were tr uh, sorry Clayton were trying to get something out of the game yeah. um, and uh, well they did they got three points in the end but you know I think we we, but we all Everyone was there and, you know, hopefully the footage will show that we're yeah. probably a little bit hard done by. So, yeah. I mean, I've spoken to Kenny, obviously, before you got you came yeah. in and he was not particularly happy with the way he's, his players played today. But he was talk I said I asked him about the win factor. He said that it's not an excuse. You you guys didn't really use it as an excuse. I thought you were you super, you were superb. Did, do you think that the wind had any sort of factor in today's game at all? Or are you, I mean, are you more happy with how you got played, really? I think it spoiled it a little bit in the first half until the players from both sides got used to the conditions yeah. yeah I mean you know the first 20 minutes would have been probably wouldn't even been the last game on match of the day it was that bad the ball was I don't know where the ball was but it went on the pitch yeah um, <laughs> I spent most of the time in the netball courts I think um, and then the players got used to it um, and you know played some decent stuff um, yeah I think Kenny's right you know you, you can use you can use any excuse you want we you know we just said get the ball down and play we tried to play Clayton tried to play 
sometimes you, you know it doesn't always go the way you want it to. But I thought, I, you know, level of chances, number of chances created, missed. We probably, you know, we will, we'll, you know, we won't be able to understand how we haven't got three points. But you know, fair play to Clayton. They've had two chances. You know, and they've took t taken both of them, and they got the three points. So they go away happy, and we go away sort of a little bit, you know, miserable and sort of just wondering, you know, should we have done better, or could could the officials help out a little bit more, or yeah. or not? But it's 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 not fair to always blame them. But yeah. you know, and you know, let's talk about this season overall. You're you're a couple of games, well, quite a few games behind everybody else yeah. in the league. How have you how have you found your season overall, as in? your kind of ambitions towards the start of the season, have they kind of matched it or how, how, how have you found overall? Um, to a point, uh, we've sort of done very well. Um, Pre-season was a general sort of bit of a mess. I was doing it on my own. Um, I was struggling to find an assistant. Dean Cooper came over and he's been brilliant for the for me and the club and the players, you know, that, that gets involved in all the training sessions, puts on good sessions and he's been a real big help. Yeah. Up to that point, it was just myself and Robbie, who looks after the kit and all the other bits and pieces, and it was becoming quite difficult um, and, and not really particularly enjoyable. Um, right. Dean came in right before the start of the season. Um, we had a few players missing. We've brought players in as the season's gone on, yeah. and we've gotten the quarterfinals of the Cups, both Cups, which yeah. is um, hence why we're so many games behind. But um, normally we have sort of exit the Cups reasonably, have, have the draw for the first round, and then that's about all our involvement is, <laughs> into, other than playing the game. Yeah. Um, Against cops in the quarters, we we dominated it, but again, similar. We don't take our chances when we're on top, and, right. and again, cops. You know, credit to them, they took theirs. Um, Achilles, I thought they were probably just a little bit better than us on the day. We didn't really create that many chances. We competed, but yeah. not quite well enough. Um, and now, we just need to get you know get some points on the board. We, we we're not obviously going to go down, but no. you know the aim is to try and finish top half, right. which is an improvement because Westerfield are sort of been a bit of a yo-yo club or mm. one of these clubs that people you know each and every season think that we're going to struggle with relegation right. and at least we're trying to turn that around and trying to turn you know people's perception of the club around by Definitely. you know and I think you know you know you, you've seen it today that we actually play some good stuff we try and get the ball down we try and play we, we you know we play to a system mm. we've got committed players you know we had five subs again today mm. Um, which is probably about the 10th, 11th game that we've had that many. Um, we've got guys playing for the reserves. There's a good, you know, reserves are going well. So it's going in the right direction, yeah, which is, you know, been a long time coming. So yeah. that's good. And good. You, you mentioned, obviously, the fact you wanted to try and get into the top half for the, yeah. for the rest of this season. You are one of those teams that are going to be playing everyone at the top. Yes, moving yeah. forward, you're going to have a massive say yeah. in this oh, title yeah, yeah. challenge, we've, aren't you? We've got Achilles twice, Cranes twice, Bourne Vale. Um, so Hawley, so we've got yeah we've we've got a tough run in, but you know they're the games you want to play at the end of the day. You know, yeah. you know we've 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 not played them for whatever reason, um, but there we go. You know, like you say, we've got a real say in who wins what now. So um, yeah. and we'll be giving up. You know, we'll be giving it our best bet because we want to finish as high as we can. So we want to finish top six, top eight. But so we'll actually you know we're not going to roll over and we you know and we now can compete. Before yeah. that last season. We'd certainly get rolled over by Achilles, right. Cranes, Henley, yeah. you know, because they were better than us, stronger than us, and more born determined. But now we've got that little bit between the teeth now where we've got a set, settled system of play, style of yeah. play. The boys believe in what we're trying to do, and um, hopefully we can give them them a game. And, well, that's, that's that's the aim anyway. We certainly won't be, you know, rolling over. We've still got, you know, although there's no cup involvement, we've still got the pride of yeah pride of trying to finish as high as we can and for finishing third fourth fifth bottom in the last three or four seasons to finish you know mid table or, or top half would would yeah. certainly be an improvement and that's that's what we're looking to do so super well i wish you all the best of yes, luck for the rest of the season thank you over for, and brilliant yeah. yeah cheers for having me along i really no problem, do appreciate welcome. that yeah. uh, make sure you guys hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and until we see each other next time adios